this short video on uh, what a few statistic terms are that you're going to find in your book. Uh, first of all, here's a typical statistics book. The front cover always has this diagram in it. Uh, they put that in there to scare you off, uh, but don't let it. Okay, so we thumb through all the crap in, in the front of the book that tells you how great the book is and how innovative the book is. But they're all basically the same and they charge you like five times what they're worth. Never mind all that. Let's get into the fun. <laughs> okay, most of the time you're going to see your terms defined in these highlighted areas. Um, usually statistics is defined first. Here's one for statistics. Statistics is the science of designing studies, gathering data, then classifying, summarizing, interpreting, and presenting these data to explain and support the decisions that are reached. Okay, now if you're still awake, let me explain <laughs> what they just said. <laughs> Statistics is about counting stuff and measuring stuff to prove stuff, for the most part. That's it. So, I wouldn't get too crazy about some of these definitions. These people love writing stuff that you can't understand. I don't know why. Okay, our next term is population. Here's the definition in the book. A population is the complete collection of measurements, objects, or individuals under study. Okay, what that means is that if I'm studying all the men in the United States, men in the United States are the population that I'm studying. If I'm studying all the tuna in the sea, the tuna, all the tuna is the population. If I'm studying uh, Cocker Spaniels in the city of Downey, the Cocker Spaniels in the city of Downey are the population. That's everything that I'm interested in studying. Now, I think about this, how am I going to get information on every Cocker Spaniel in Downey or every male in America? It's not that easy. I'll explain what statistics does to simplify that next. Here's your book's definition of a sample. I like this one because it's kind of short. A sample is a portion or a subset taken from a population. Okay, so um, think of a sample, it's very intuitive. Let's say you're making cookie dough and you decide to take a little piece of the cookie dough to make sure it's sweet enough. So you take a sample. You're not going to eat the whole bowl of cookie dough, the population of cookie dough, you're going to take a sample. Same thing, if I'm studying all males in the United States, I would find a subset of males. Maybe I have time to study a hundred of them. Okay, that's a subset of the population. Let's say I go to Downey and I'm interested in studying those Cocker Spaniels, I might find 20 Cocker Spaniel owners. And perhaps the whole population is, I don't know, 5,000 Cocker Spaniels in Downey, California. Who knows? But in any case, that's what a sample is. It's not the whole population. It's a small, manageable part of the population that you can reasonably study. So don't eat all the cookie dough. Just take a sample. <laughs> Here, we're going to do two more. This next one is called a parameter. A parameter is a number that describes a population characteristic. Okay, let's say I'm, let's go back to my population of all men in the United States. What if I want to know the average weight of all men in the United States? I can't go measure them all, but there is an average weight, isn't there? There's one. I mean, there is one. If you could measure them, that would be the parameter. Average weight of all men in the United States, if we knew that it was 180 pounds, that's a parameter. But you can't measure all of them, can you? There's new ones born every second, for one thing. What you got to do is you have to take a sample. I'm going to talk about that next. Now, if we want to find the average weight of all men in the United States, we can't measure them all, can we? No, so we'll find a sample. We'll take a subset. Maybe we'll have time to weigh, I don't know, 5,000 if, if we had some money and time to do that even. Okay, now let's say I measure these 5,000 and the average weight that I get at the end of all of it is 182 pounds. Okay, that 182 pounds 
is called the statistic. So the average weight of the sample is the statistic. The average weight of the whole population is the parameter. So parameters for populations, statistic for the sample. Simple as that. If I weigh 5,000 American men and I get an average weight of 182 pounds, that is the statistic. A statistic is obtained by weighing a sample, not the whole population. To weigh all American men, we would need to weigh over 160 million people, nearly impossible to do, but 5,000 is doable.